there isn't a breaking point, really. There isn't a bubble. I think the bubble is in people that want to do mass distribution, people that want to be the next Sam Adams. I think you'll right. find that's a much, much uh, you're gonna tougher have a, road. You're yeah. going to have a tougher time if you're wanting to get in the beer game to be the next Lagunitas. Right. That, that's already taken. Right. So you have to be a lot more creative. And that's where we did with Wake is we try to find a demographic that we felt like wasn't being served in the Quad Cities yet and try to find our own niche. And uh, here we are. What's, what's your mission statement? What are you guys trying to get done with the beer here at Wake? Trying quality. to quality yeah. and trying to constantly push the boundaries of ourselves and the art form. It's interesting. Beer. Quality is job one here, and yet they're letting me make the beer today. What supervision? <laughs> it's strict supervision. The mission here at Wake is to make really good beers, uh, and like you said, you're not trying to be the next Lagunitas, but no. your beer is going to be available places other than Wake Brewing. In fact, today is the first day that you guys are doing... Cans to go. Cans offering to go. cans to go, yeah. And I, I want to show the can. Can we Do we have the can anywhere? Because I've never seen this in all of our travels. So usually when you go to... Places like this, they have the big crawlers. Mm -hmm. Right. This is a 16 ounce can. Yeah. And you're doing these to go. And the reason you went with this, I know that this costs you a little bit more. It does. On your end, this costs a couple bucks more to, to sure. do something like this. Uh, why did you want to go with the 16 ounces and what kind of freedom does this give you? Because see, look, there's the, uh, there's the, uh, they're, 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 they're the brothers are, the wizards, right? I'm the happy one. And then. There's a happy one? I mean, it's happier. And then that, there's where you guys will write what the beers are. Yeah. Right. right. So. What, why, why did you go with this 16 ounce aluminum crawler, which again is something I've never seen before. It's awesome. Uh, the not, so a lot of times, even even the, the, the howlers of smaller ones, the 32 ounce and even the 32 ounce crawlers, uh, if you want to just take a beer home and that's your option, right? It's 32 ounce crawler, you got to drink that whole mess in you know a matter of minutes before it's you know degassed. Right. So our option was a, you can still share 16 ounces between two people if you really want to, or buy two cans and you have one. Right. So now you can get a variety for approximately the same cost. And, and eventually, I'm sure by the time this airs, people will be able to come in and get a four pack oh, yeah. of yeah. four different styles. Yeah, a variety four pack to go. Yep. So they'll say, okay, I like this one, this one, this one, this one, and then they can we'll take that four, four pack home. Go. What kind of feedback have you guys gotten from people that come here to Wake? You've been open for a couple of months now. What, what, what have people been saying? Positive, yeah, I mean, uh, our, our mission with the vibe of trying to foster conversation with no TVs or jukebox or anything is kind of uh, it sprung a, a, a variety of people I didn't expect to see, which is awesome. The people that don't want to be bothered by TVs or a loud jukebox by somebody else picking it out. You know, without, without the TVs, I don't know, this sounds silly. Let me, let me know if this sounds dumb, but without the distraction of the TV. That's dumb. That's dumb. Well, let me finish the oh. thought, boys. You can just focus on the beer. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not watching a game and drinking the beer. I'm just drinking the beer. Maybe there's some really cool music on that's kind of in the peripheral and is part of the experience. I know that music is still a very important event. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like you guys work as hard on the playlists here as you do the beer. Well, we is purposely, yeah, yeah, we purposely didn't want the brewery, the bar side to feel like you were actually in a brewery. Just kind of more hanging out at your friend's basement listening to records. Right on. So yeah. there's... Pictures of various live shows, music, music that might be a little challenging for most, but kept at a decent enough volume that you could either embrace it or talk yeah, over it. Yeah, you're not going to hear uh, the Eagles here. Right. What are, what are we going to drink here? This is a, a brand new one that you guys aren't going to debut until later on today. I'm getting a sneak peek, you know, because I'm helping to make the beer. Yeah. That's how you're getting paid. I'll take it. This is Weed Eater? Correct. Weed Eater, yeah. Why, why that name and what kind of beer is this? So it's a Northeast style hazy IPA, uh, brewed mm, with juicy. Exactly. Mm. Brewed with hops that will kind of are reminiscent of uh, dank aromas. Um, and oh, that's dank, all right. And fruits. This reminds me of a of a concert I went to. Many Wasn't it? It reminds e me of every concert I've been to. Right. The Eagles. It was the Eagles. <laughs> oh boy, did we? Those were the days. Uh, what are you drinking? Uh, this is the Driftless Pale. Driftless. Yeah. It was uh, named after... Uh, Danny Wilcox. Yeah. He does a bunch of photography, and we did a show with him. We actually served beer and named beers after some of the stuff he had done, and it turned out 
really well, and uh, we continued and decided to bring it on, on tap here. And then Tales of Brave Ulysses. Yes. That's your porter. That this is our homage to Grant's Perfect Porter. That's the one that, that kind of got you started on this, on this journey. It's great stuff. It's Wake Brewing, Rock Island. Cheers. This is, uh, I can't wait to, uh, I wanted to talk no, real fast on. about, wait, no, wait, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to, we'll wait and see what the beer question. tastes like. <laughs> I think we all saw that coming. Mm, I wish you guys could smell this, because mm, that's orangey. I imagine that smells even better. You want to smell the sock? Mm. Here are the Warflock tablets. It's my job to insert these things one at a time. Put it in the hole. In the hole. These will reduce the haziness. I got that many to do. It's gonna be here a while. I want you to know every time I do this, I'm making a wish. And the reason we don't put the whole bag in at once is... It'll taste, it'll taste awful. It would... And it's not the whole bag, it's only 12. I've lost count. You're at 12. I'm done? Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I was counting. Wow, I'm glad he was counting. I thought I had to do the whole bag. Oh God, no. That would have been bad. So now uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna use uh, your grandmother's vacuum cleaner from World War II to sanitize where we're gonna put the invisible oranges. And now's the part of the day that I've grown to love the most. It's what we call in the beer industry, shift beer time. We've worked our shift and the brewery owes us a beverage. What are you gonna have? What's your shifty? Uh, shifty, I'll by the way, is a term we use in the beer industry. It's a, for shift beer. It's a cute way of saying it. You know, everyone's telling me what a great job I did on the beer, and, uh, well, they're not wrong. 